Welcome back to the Means Report. So happy that you stayed with us and once again so pleased that Regina Duval was our special guest today. We wish her all the best for sure. Now we take you to Wichita. You may have seen this on Facebook where a mom took to social media after she says a clerk at Dillard's shamed her daughter. Pilar Pedraza sat down with the mom and the girl. And she tried it on and it fit perfectly. Megan Narmore Harris was shopping with her daughter Lexi. They'd already found this dress when she talked the girl into trying on just one more outfit, something a little different for fun. They snapped this quick pic to share with friends. But then they say the fun ended. Uh, the sales lady walked in and told Lexi that uh, she did not look good in that dress. I didn't really like what she said. Megan won't share exactly what the sales lady said because she doesn't want to hurt Lexi any more than she already has been, but says the comments included things like calling her daughter fat, telling her she needed to wear the body shaping underwear Spanx under the dress. But it, it was not a simple upsell. It was uh, body shaming. Megan says she called a complaint but got no response from the store. That's when she asked Lexi if she could post about it on Facebook. And Lexi said yes. I've known girls that cut themselves because of stuff like that or have committed suicide. But she wasn't expecting the thousands of shares, likes, and comments the post has gotten since. It's, it's just been crazy. I didn't think that it would blow up like this. Now they both see this as a chance to help keep something similar from happening to or hurting others. It's a great opportunity to launch this as a, as a talking point. No matter what somebody says, if you're fine with who you are, embrace it. Now, the mother did say right before that interview that she heard from a Dillard's representative who said they're going to use this as a teaching moment for their sales clerks so they'll know how to interact with customers. Also, they released a statement to the media that says at Dillard's, our mission is to help people feel good about themselves by enhancing the natural beauty found in all of us. They say it is certainly never our intent to offend our customers. That's the word from Dillard's and hope that all goes well in Lexi's life. I thought she looked mighty nice in that dress, didn't y'all? We do hope that you'll help shape future editions of The Means Report. Your input is very important to us. We take it and we use it when we select our topics and our guests on the air. Our Facebook page is The Means Report and the Twitter feed also listed under The Means Report. And look, you can now find us on Instagram or as my sons call it, Insta. Just go to The Means Report and look at all the nice pictures Marlena has posted there. Of course, you can email us if you have an idea for the Means Report. Marlena Wilson is mwilson at wjbf.com. Mine is bmeans at wjbf.com. Do me a favor and just put the Means Report on the subject line and Marlena and I will open it right away and figure out how we can serve you. You can also watch the previous episodes of the Means Report online at wjbf.com slash the Means Report and we encourage you to download the WJBF mobile app. For Levi, Marlena, and the entire Means Report family, take care.